Now on the front of the block we have these oil gallery plugs. This is where we knocked out those press-in plugs. It would be a good idea to invest in a quarter inch pipe tap and it's a really good idea to tap these holes out. The holes are already drilled the right size for a quarter inch pipe tap and that way we kind of upgrade the block instead of having that cheapy press-in plug that the manufacturer puts in there. They put those in at the factory just because it's an assembly line deal. It takes a little bit of effort to get this tap started, but once you get it started, just run it down on this middle oil gallery hole here. You only want to go in about a half an inch with this tap, or just run the tap in about halfway. If you go too deep and you run the plug in too deep, there's an actual, actually a cross passage going through this hole, a feed hole that will you'll block off. So if you just go about halfway down with your tap, it'll be fine. And the plug will get tight before it gets all the way in there. This is a tapered tap, and so just about a half inch, maybe that much down in the hole is good. Good. Then you can go ahead and you want to tap all three of these holes and that way we've upgraded the block and we have a we have a nice set of plugs that we can put in here and now I'm going to put the, these plugs in the front. Once you tap these holes and you put these in you don't really need to seal these on the front of the block because these are going to be underneath the timing chain cover. So don't put any sealer on them. If they seep a, a little bit of oil, it's not a big deal because they're they're sealed under their timing chain cover and it, the oil that seeps out of there will just drain right back to the oil pan. You wanna go ahead and get these tight and you notice this is a tapered pipe plug. So I'm gonna get these plugs tight here and they're not going all the way in. So they, they shouldn't be all the way in the hole, especially this center one here, you want this once the, you get this plug to tighten up, the plug should be sticking out of that hole halfway or a little less than halfway, and that's good. If you go too deep on the threads, you'll block off an oil passage in there. So that's about right, right there. So go ahead and tighten all these plugs up. There's one of our external plugs there. You can see we use Teflon on it, and that plug in the center there actually seals the cooling system. But any external plugs on the block, you want to make sure that you use some kind of sealer, either silicone or a Teflon coating or, or something on them so that they don't seep.